Hi friends, I'm Parwais and this is our 31st first, uh, video in PyQt5 GUI programming with Python 3. In the last videos we have covered a uh, print and print preview dialog. Uh, you can see that this example is from the last video. We have a print dialog, uh, also we have a print uh, preview dialog. If you haven't watched the previous videos, I recommend you to watch the previous video. Uh, in this video, we are going to cover how you can export your text as a PDF. Uh, by simple, we can tell that how you can print uh, as a PDF. Uh, for this, uh, it's easy in PyQt5. I'm going to make a new uh, Python file and I call it uh, export PDF. Uh, after that, I'm going to copy the my window code. Uh, let me find this uh, window window mm. yeah this is my window and uh, paste it in export PDF like this okay uh, now the first thing I need I want to change my title to PyQtl5 uh, PDF exporter like this. After that, I need some imports. I need a Q push button. Uh, also, I need a Q text edit. And also from pyqta 5qta core import Q file info. And from pyqta 5q print support import. Q printer like this okay now we are going to make a button and also a text edit uh, for this I'm going to uh, solve dot button Q push button uh, solve also we can export PDF like this after that I'm going to set the geometry solve dot button dot set geometry and I give the geometry of hundred hundred uh, by hundred and fifty now if I run this and I have an error solve dot button Unexpected window queue widget. Okay, I think I have a problem in here. Solve dot button. Uh, like this. Let me run it. Yeah, now I have a button. Uh, let me add a text view in here. A text edit. Solve dot text. Edit Q text edit and uh, I'm going to set the geometry for my text edit dot set geometry. I give the geometry of my text edit to 100 by 150, uh, 400 by 400. Now, if I run this, okay, uh, let me give. Uh, and here solve I forgot it let me run this yeah now I have a text edit after that I'm going to define a method for my uh, exporting as a PDF or printing PDF diff print PDF print PDF uh, I'm making a variable like this Uh, Q file dialog. Sorry, I need another import for my uh, Q file dialog. In here, Q file dialog like this. Okay. Now in this section, Q file dialog dot get save file name. 
uh, it needs some parameters. The first one is solve. Uh, export a string. Uh, export PDF. None. And in here we give it uh, PDF files. Let me make it like this. Dot PDF. All files. Like this. Okay. Uh, after that, uh, I'm making a if loop. If condition. If condition, not loop. In here, if if n, sorry, I don't know why. Yeah, if if n not equal to m, it's not if it's not empty. Uh, we are going to mm, make another if condition if q file info. fn dot suffix is fn plus dot pdf and here like this, okay. Now I'm going to make a printer. Q printer. Q printer dot high resolution. After that I am uh, going to set uh, the output format dot set output format to Q printer dot uh, PDF format. PDF format like this. And uh, after that, I am going to printer dot set output file name. I am going to set the output file to fn. After that, I am going to self dot text dot document dot print. And we give our printer like this. Okay. Uh, let me check this. We have a f f printer. We have f condition. Okay. Now, in the push in the push button, we are going to connect self dot button dot clicked dot connect. Uh, self dot print sorry self dot print PDF like this uh, now check the code and if I run this okay now I'm going to uh, uh, write something in here please uh, subscribe the channel channel and like the videos okay now I'm going to export PDF uh, I'm saving in my disk local disk C I name it uh, my file okay now if I click on save and if I open my drive C and uh, let me check this my file PDF yeah I have in here PDF file if I open this you can see please subscribe the channel and like the videos okay uh, this was our PDF exporter uh, so simple uh, and so useful uh, this is the complete code and uh, 
Uh, for the further videos, uh, please subscribe my channel and also please uh, like the video.